the audience on this one. Uh, you know, the first one uh, we will talk about is, first of all, is really very, very thankful and appreciate Nuraj for accepting yeah. our request to be partnering us with this year with Muskan. And I uh, would love to hear from you about Muskan. Uh, what's your thoughts on this one uh, as a startup? I think Muskan is a great initiative and um, smile train, we all are here to put smiles on the young kids' faces. Um, you know, when I actually saw the film, I actually got very emotional because through my guest uh, foundation also, we try and work with a lot of below poverty like kids. And we try and you know, treat them and bring uh, smiles on their faces. And uh, cleft surgeries that you guys are doing, I think, uh, you know, it's when we look at ourselves uh, and I think the parents gives us a lot of confidence. Uh, when I was obviously not doing well myself and I didn't have any hair on my head, it was uh, quite a confidence breaker. So I think uh, can sometimes uh, physically and emotionally damage us, but I think what you guys are doing is uh, is something wonderful for the future. You know, you bring confidence to the society, live their lives, their lives, uh, making their dreams possible, which I think is my goal as well towards my society and towards the work that I do. Um, I think humanitarian work is always, it gives uh, happiness to the soul. And that's what we're trying to do over here is to help the people around us, uh, especially the lovely kids, to have a better life and to get their confidence back. So great initiative and I'm very proud of you guys. Thank, thank you so much, Raj. Thank, thank you. you. And you know, these initiatives uh, can't be done single-handedly. Uh, we always have partners. And I'm, I'm very happy again to thank uh, Anjali from Smile Train for being a great partner with us in the last eight years in India with Himalaya. Uh, this one. Now, Yuvraj, talking about partnership, uh, right? Uh, I think you have been uh, in cricket and partnership, either in, in scoring, partnership, teamwork. Uh, if you could help share some insights about uh, how do we build great partnerships, so how partnership and why teamwork is so important. Well, I can definitely talk about partnerships because our coach would always tell us that we have to give 20, if we have to win a game, we have to have two 50-run partnerships and four 20-run partnerships, which get, gets us to a 260 or 280 score. I think without a good team, it's very difficult to get anything anything done. Uh, again, I will go back to my foundation because we have such a great team. So we get to go to the rural areas of India to you know do the work. And I think you guys have found obviously the right match that you have done so much work over the past for children. So I think um, if you have to achieve any goal in life, partnership is very important to work with the right people, people who think who have the same vision or the same goal to do well for society. And I am sure, Ranjali, you've got the right partner over here and uh, I wish you guys all the best and uh, do more great work and you know, help the society, um, bring more smiles on more children and uh, hopefully, you know, we come to a space where we can do this for the whole of India and probably further as well. So, all the best. Thank you. Anjali, your thoughts on partnership, how has it been, your experience with us uh, for the past eight years? I totally agree with you, Raj, about the team. I think it's every person matters. And uh, the partnership has worked so well with Himalaya because I think we have shared values. Uh, Himalaya, their whole culture, corporate culture, I would say, is about doing good for society. And we always see that whenever we're planning an event or anything that we do together, your empathy and your understanding for the children, for you know our partners, what would be inconvenient or uncomfortable for us, or if we, if we ever point out that, okay, this is something we don't like saying, you guys always uh, understand that. And I think that is the quality of a true partnership where 
it's not just you know about getting the eyeballs but really making a difference for children so i think as a team we work together himalaya ourselves we have our other team members here today our doctors our surgeons their cleft teams uh, without them this is not possible so i definitely believe that teamwork every member matters and i'm a huge cricket fan so today is like <laughs> is my big fan moment to be sitting with you raj out here thank you thank you so much and and really love the uh, you know the, you know this year the theme was overcoming challenges and fulfilling dreams and uh, i'll take the first one of overcoming challenges and we have uh, 15 to 20 kids with their parents who have overcome the challenges of cleft uh, you know when they were born uh, and we call them as cleft warriors you know they have really fought the battle uh, and you know when we talk about you yuvraj i think the many things which comes to mind but there are two distinct things which personally we can all associate with it is one is of course every cricketer goes through a lot of challenges of performing in the team being retained in the team but i think the one challenge which you faced uh, and i distinctly remember watching the world cup uh, uh, you know in, in india where you went through a lot of health issues you know if you can help shed some light on how you overcame some of these challenges in your life and that could help uh, you know the many children who come here uh, as they deal with similar challenges the confidence building which you hinted before but really help them to how to they can achieve their dreams uh, definitely i think we all face challenges in our life all of us some are bigger some are smaller but end of the day there are challenges and uh, eventually we have no choice but to fight but i think myself with as anjali mentioned with doctors and the support of team if you have the right people you can overcome anything uh, i had the right people around me when i was going through my illness i had the right team and i'm sure these kids like me are very lucky that they have your partnership to help them out to uh, you know get their confidence back and live their lives live their dreams i think that is as parent and as elders teachers and society members it's us it's our duty to protect our children and make their lives better so as we talk about partnership uh, you know without the right team it's uh, it, it can get difficult you can get lonely uh, when you don't know what to do and how to go about your future especially when you're a young kid but i think uh, these children are very lucky that they have your support and uh, it's uh, it's great that what you're doing and as i said humanitarian work uh, makes the soul happy and uh, that is the best feeling in the world thank you uh, the last one is about fulfilling dreams uh, and again raj uh, you have been one of the uh, very fortunate uh, cricketer to have been part of the team winning the t20 world cup uh, even the, the the 50 over world cup uh, and i'm sure Uh, you know there there were the dreams which every cricket lives by uh, again really would help us to hear from you how can these children go and achieve their dreams uh, you know whatever they want to do you know they become a doctor they want to become an engineer whatever the career they want to be or a sports person you know any any tips from you uh, to those kids and parents i think when you overcome your challenges like when i overcame my challenge when i was back on the field you know i had that confidence to uh, come back and play for india uh, it took a while because <coughs> i had to fix my body and the same way um when you fix yourself and you feel confident again you know you can step forward towards your dreams uh and when you have that confidence and uh, as i said the you know, confidence confidence builder is is something that has to come from within how you feel how you look and as i said you really want to have the right people behind you when you are moving towards your goal uh because there are people who are confidence builders and there are people who can break your confidence so i feel that um building confidence you have the, you need to have the right people around you and that is what you're doing over here and uh again i can't like or thank you or tell you that the work that you're doing is going to make the future bright so well done again thank you thank you
My last question, Yuvraj, is you know you've been led a very busy life. So, uh, what keeps you busy nowadays, uh, Yuvraj? Uh, uh, you know, if you want to talk about taking care of my children. <laughs> <laughs> One is two years old, who doesn't stop. He's hitting the right wall and the left wall. And my daughter, seven months, who doesn't sleep. So, yes, taking care of them <laughs> is my. It's not helping my confidence because I can wake up three times. <laughs> in the night, but uh, it's amazing to be a parent, for sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Raj. And on this note, uh, we finish the fireside chat and we now unveil the, the Moon Moon video uh, for every one of us. Uh,